Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legend of Legaia. I'm Josh. I don't know if I've said my name in the past episodes. This is episode 7, and I think that's the first time I've said my name. I apologize. My name is Josh. I live in New York. My window is open because it is warm in my room, and that will help keep me cool. Uh, so if you hear any sounds of New York, I apologize on behalf of the entire city. For that specifically, I don't apologize for anything else. I do not have the responsibility falling upon me for that. Uh, this is Legend of the Gaia. This is a PlayStation 1 game that I absolutely loved as a kid. I lost track of it and stopped playing, but I remember so fondly the mechanics of this game. And I have managed to get it and thought, what better way to share my love of this game than recording it and putting it on YouTube? and Reddit, which I post every time I get an episode uploaded. Sorry to anyone on Reddit who's sick of this. There have been people who've told me to stop. There have been more people telling me to keep going because it's a dead subreddit. Uh, I don't know if it's a dead subreddit, but hey, I will keep posting it if the people want to see it. I'm very happy to oblige. Thank you for your support. Uh, we left off with Noah, this character here, the feral child, who has very nice clothes for a feral child, I should say. Uh, she had just beaten a golem and left that cave, and now Tara, her guardian wolf, is here to tell her something important. You may not know, but wolves like me do not normally speak. I am actually a Saru, a Saru attached to the head of this old wolf. I, Tara, who saved you from the mist when you were all alone and raised you, I'm a Saru. But don't confuse me with those common Saru driven mad by the mist. I may look like a Seru, but I am a raw Seru. I am impervious to the mist. I wanted to watch over you until you were a little older, but that's not possible anymore. This wolf has reached the end of its life. The wolf will die soon, and if I stay attached to it, I will die with it. Maybe that's why Terra looks so slack-jawed in the battles, is that it's a nearly dead wolf, and it's just completely mind-controlled by the raw Seru. That is why I brought you here, to this mountain. With the power of the Genesis tree at the summit, I can transfer from the wolf to you. Then I won't have to leave you all alone. That is my plan. I have decided to stay by your side until you find your real parents. Now this mean old wolf is fully rested. On to the summit. I am- oh, another cave. I'm excited to get to the summit because then she will get her fancy magical jewelry and I should be able to start summoning some Seru. Uh, these pump bats are pretty troublesome, so they are my priority. Also, they just make me a little uneasy the way they move. Although that sound is probably worse than their movement. Uh, last time I talked about my favorite movie. Now I will talk about my favorite... My favorite band, I suppose. So my favorite band... Uh, similarly to how my favorite movie, The Lobster, is not a super well-known one among just standard people. No, I, that sounds like I'm crapping on people. Uh, I don't mean to. Um, let me start over. My favorite band is a band that is not super well-known, similarly to The Lobster. Uh, the band is The Gay Blades. They are a two sometimes three, uh, maybe always three, and it's just sort of front-facing as two, person band that plays uh, sort of alt-rock music. They, they describe it as trash pop, uh, which I suppose I can see in a certain light. Anyways, I'm really not selling them well. I like this band a lot. Uh, I recommend you go listen to them. I recommend Savages, which is their second album. 
Uh, it is my favorite of the two albums they've released. I'm still waiting on a third album. It's been a few years since they promised it was coming out. So I'm not holding my breath any longer. But uh, I love the band, and I think that they are incredibly talented people. One of them works at a company that uh, is sort of a marketing firm, I believe. I'm not entirely sure about his day job, I guess. But I know that they have in the past made jingles, so this is definitely someone who knows his way around musics. Music. Sorry, I was reading Phoenix in my head while saying music. And that uh, added an X to the end of it. I'm gonna stop talking for a bit. I chose the perfect time to stop talking. The Genesis tree. Noah, this tree, it's the Genesis tree. There's a save point, so I'm expecting a boss battle. This brings back memories. <laughs> You're telling me, Terra. This is the tree through which I came to the human world. I was sleeping inside this tree, then suddenly, I was awakened by the sound of a baby's cry. That baby was you, Noah. Your body was too small for me to attach myself to you, so instead I chose this wolf. Now that's enough talk of the past. Come on, Noah. Noah, there's nothing to fear. Come this way. Ha! Those raw Saru fools! What eyesores they are! I will show them the consequences of helping those pitiful humans! It was I, Zito, who destroyed your pitiful little camp. Had you submitted peacefully to the mist and the Saru, your suffering would have ended. So be it. If you insist on struggling so miserably, then I will finish you off now. Attack, Karuban! Rip them to shreds with your fangs! Ooh! He's a cutie! He's got bug wings. You, Seru slave of evil, be smart and go away now. This world is for human beings of compassion. Caravan, kill them! Noah, I'm sorry. My mistake, I was careless. My strength, unfortunately, is nearly depleted. Ha ha ha! That was too easy! You don't fight as tough as you talk! Caravan, this girl is yours. Do with her as you please. Ha 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 ha! I am proud of that voice. However, I will fully admit, I do not think it was the same voice as last time. Let's hurry to the top of the mountain. Our friends, our friends must be there. I don't think that was the same voice either. I am not a voice actor by any means. Uh, the closest thing I have to voice acting experience is I am a DM for kids and teenagers at work. I'm trying to go this way, thank you. Um, but that's about it, so. My voices are subject to change. Is that a little taste of New York for you if you heard that truck behind me? Happy to be playing Vaughn again, as he has a Seru, which will be helpful. Hopefully they will meet up soon and I'll be able to uh, use them in tandem with each other. Yes, sir! I forgot, someone posted on the subreddit, which I recommend everyone follow. It's, uh, it's reddit.com slash r slash legend of Lagaya, as simple as it sounds. Uh, and someone uploaded a video with the translations for all of the player characters, um, 
victory phrases. And I think that one he just said was, I'm the main character. But I don't know for sure. Uh, I did not memorize which pose was associated with which uh, yeah, attacks. I wonder if Severa, the, uh, the bat that was holy, that I believe to have healing properties maybe, I wonder if they're in this cave portion, specifically this part that I'm in now. Because then maybe I want to stick around here and get one of those before I continue to fight Kapudan. Or whatever his name was. The cool lion guy. Tornado flame! Uh, so I see light coming from the bottom of the screen here, and I'm worried that is where Noah is with the lion. So I'm going to head to the left, actually. See if there's anything I'm missing. Could be they lead to the same place. Hey, there's a Vera. Hopefully I can get Vera on my team. I am going to attack the worm first. In case, uh... In case I need Vera out for a certain number of turns to sort of scan it or understand it as a creature. This isn't Digimon. I shouldn't use words like scan. Alright. Get in my jewelry. Oh, I shouldn't auto, because it's going to keep doing ground attacks. Hi, hi, and then raw stereo. Smack you with my bracelet. Did not learn it. Damn. All right. Um, I'm going to go out this side. This is an exit. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe they both led the same way. Oh, no, this does lead to a treasure chest. Well, now I'm wondering what the other way led to. What's in here? Yeah, I'm, that seems final. So I'm going to head the other way and see if there's another chest that way. Plus, it's more opportunities to get a Vera. But not today. Get rid of that pump bat. If there's anything you guys think that uh, I'd be able to continuously talk about during times like this where I'm just fighting random monsters, and you're all very sweet. I'm sure a lot of you are going to say, it's fine, you don't need to talk the whole time. We're just enjoying the game and enjoying you playing it. And that's not me trying to sound like smug or anything. That is something that people have told me when I say that I'm not super comfortable at talking to myself. Um, I'm not saying I don't do it. I do it all the time. I just found out today that I was in my friend's Discord in his voice chat all day and didn't realize it. Uh, so people would have just heard me randomly talking to myself and saying, what are the price of this item compared to this item? Oh, this one has better ratings, though. And that's just me shopping online and uh, talking to myself in a British accent, as one does. Uh, so if you have recommendations of things that are easy to talk about, just continuously when nothing interesting is happening on screen. I would absolutely love to hear that, and I will definitely give you a shout out if you give me something I'll use. Because, I mean, I said my favorite movie and my favorite band, but we're gonna run out of favorites at some point. Yeah, I got them. Let's use him and see. Yeah, it is recover health, okay. Then I will try to use him outside of battle. Most JRPGs that I've played have let you heal outside of battle. 
hopefully this is the same, otherwise I'm really screwing myself over. Putting a lot of eggs in one basket. Uh, but yeah, if you have advice, I would love to hear it. Um, I'm sure, despite all the niceties, I'm sure some of you are very bored when you hear me just ramble on during battles. But I'm not good at uh, talking to myself. Ah, oh, damn it. I just said I should use the Seru. I guess it didn't fully heal me, so I still have a chance to. And it worked. Where's the sleet? Well, now this looks like it might be the right area. Oh. Luckily found a chest. Am I gonna backtrack all that way? Oh, good. Good. I got a weapon, and now I get to backtrack. I was genuinely worried that I was going to end up uh, going all that way and then finding Noah. <clears throat> Which may sound like progress, but I would have been upset that I missed an opportunity to sidetrack and get some items. Which I apologize if you find that part boring. Um, I love getting side items. And this weapon seems like it'll be a good one for that. I need to stop auto-attacking Vera. Or any flying creatures, really. I guess another a question I have for anyone who is better at this game than I am, which I'm sure is a lot of you. Um, and it's another thing that I could look up, but I don't want to look it up because I'm afraid I'd get spoiled spoilers about stuff um so it's clear that i can't do low attacks on flying creatures and that makes sense to me are there specific s directions or attacks that i can do on monsters in Saro that give me i shouldn't have done auto right after complaining about it um is there a specific direction i should be using on specific monsters and i don't want you to tell me which direction so don't tell me like, oh, when you're fighting a worm, use the up, it does more damage. But let me know if a mechanic like that exists in the game. Because I could see them being, I could see them doing that and implementing that sort of thing. Let me know if that sort of mechanic exists in the game where uh, direction matters for attacks. For making the attack stronger and more effective, I should say. Okay, I can't go to the left any further. All right, so you may say day of dead end. I say rewarded subquest. I'm gonna take out this guy before he has a chance. I haven't run, in, run into any more theaters. I don't know if I will. Since it seems like it may have been specific for that area. It's interesting, using Gimard there reminded me that uh, using Seru in battle levels them up. I wonder if using Seru outside of battle, like healing outside of battle, also gives them experience. Or do I have to use it in battle for them to gain experience and get better at their skills? I now have a phoenix. And I leveled up. Is this the type of JRPG where you heal when you level up? It is not. I'm gonna leave my mana for now. Head back this way. All right, time to get back up to that tunnel. Oh 
Pump Vet, and Worm. Here to see me off on my journey. Oh, we're in the tunnel. I could be imagining things, but it also seems that when Vaughn is getting injured while in this tunnel, it seems like he has a very short echo. Yes, sir. I could be completely imagining it. I'm not sure, but given how good the sound design of this game is, I could see that being a thing they put into. For all tunnels, not just this one specifically. There they are. And it looks like she's holding it off. But for how long? I'm going to heal up. And you see that save point next to me. You know what else I'm going to do. I'm going to sign off and make you wait until the next episode. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter at McDukasHole, M-C-D-O-U-G-I-S-H-O-L-E. Uh, message me on Reddit, same name. Follow me on Twitch, now showing, now underscore showing, like at a movie theater. And subscribe to me here on YouTube if you would like to see more. Uh, I would love to show you more. And I would love to hear from you, your favorite bands, your favorite movies, your favorite character in this game. Any answers you have for me uh, and my completely forgotten memories of this game. Let me know and come back next time to see me completely destroy this lion chimera hybrid. I guess chimeras are already hybrids. Am I being redundant? Let me know in the comments. Goodbye!